Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggies Rugby Review, where this week I'm... Uh, I don't have a joke. I'm just trying to remember the format. This review is going to be Bedford's Rug Beer, uh, which is actually a re-review, and uh, I, I'm not sure if I knew that it was a re-review. I think I literally just went and grabbed whatever bottle I had handy at the time. By the way, I have a huge backlog of root beers, so I need to get back on this horse and review a few. But for the time being, we're starting with a re-review, which is, which is good because get back in the saddle or in the saddle, on the saddle. I've never, I've never ridden a horse. I've ridden a pony. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get to the ingredients. So here we go with the ingredients, which should be popping up. Maybe right here. Maybe when I... Wait, no. Here. And, or maybe when I switch to the bottle. I don't even know what fits in the frame anymore. Um, but yeah, as you can see, pure cane sugar, carbonated water. One, the, only, the only real kind of weird thing that I noticed about this one is that there's... That caramel coloring is higher up in the uh, ingredients list than sugar, <laughs> which I've never seen that before. Because I, I believe this is what I've always been told that ingredients go in the order of how much is in each one of them. Water obviously being the highest ingredient, but coloring being higher than sugar. Maybe it's just not a very sweet root beer. I don't really remember, um, to be honest with you. I don't necessarily remember Bedford being particularly... Um, uh, doesn't strike out to me as something that I reviewed in the past. However, um, it does look like one... It looks like one of those root beers that I probably really enjoyed the first time I had it. Get a good look at the bottle here. Now, I do remember one thing about the bottle. The original bottle... Um, had kind of like a paper, uh, this is more like a plasticky, as you can see, it's kind of like writing up right here. The original bottle had, uh, more of a, um, uh, almost like a royal, kind of like a suit of arms sort of, uh, uh sort of logo on it. Um, this one, uh, you know, it, it looks more modern, I guess is the best way to put it. I actually was a big fan of the uh, the old logo. Uh, if I can find a picture of it, I will. I mean, I have a picture of it from my old blog, but if I can find like a nice uh, picture of it, I'll do that. But um, yeah, um, as far as the ingredients and the looks and all that stuff, you know, pretty standard stuff. Other than the other than the strangeness of like there being more caramel coloring in it than uh, sugar. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a sniff. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see if I can open it up. Oh, one try. All right, let's go ahead and take a sniff. Mmm, that smells pretty sweet. It smells, you know, for a soda that apparently has more coloring in it than sugar, uh, it actually smells really sweet. Now, nothing sticks out in particular. Uh, there's nothing in the ingredients that would stick out either. There's nothing. I mean, other than natural and artificial flavors, which of course can mean literally anything. Um, it does, uh, it, it, it's not any, anything other than just kind of like a normal root beer kind of scent to it. So, um, however, it being sweet and everything means it probably runs alongside this kind of sort of thing that I like. So um, let's go ahead and uh, go get the mug and uh, we'll go ahead and test the foam and the pour. All right, so here we go with the pour and the foam. I will say this mug has been sitting in the freezer since the last time I did a review. So this is the frostiest this mug has ever been. Let's go ahead and test the pour and the foam on this one. Not, oh, I was going to say not a lot of foam. Quickly dissipating foam. So no taste test on that one. But, um, 
yeah, I kind of just, uh, which is strange because I noticed that it had the extract that I usually think is to blame for the, uh, for the, the foaminess of, of some of the, some of these foams. The quality of our extract. Hold on. Quill, quill, quillaya, quillaya, quillaya. That's probably how you say it. I mean, that's how it's spelled, quillaya. Anyway, um, so yeah, no, no foam to try. So I guess we just go ahead and, uh, get into the taste test. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. Let's do this. Now, I don't know if they've changed the recipe since the last time that I've had Bedford's. But the way I remember Bedford's being, it wasn't very memorable. This definitely has a more unique flavor. It's got um, a bit more of a, a bite to it. Um... And I think the thing that's really sticking out to me is that there's almost like a, almost like a fruity texture to it, which uh, was not bad, not bad. Um, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's it's very unique. Um, and again, like I said, not not a negative for sure. Um, the aftertaste, nothing really to it. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard to judge this one at the moment. I got to kind of sit with this one for a second. So I'm going to do that and then I will, uh, be right back for my, uh, overall grade. So let's just get right into it from the start. Um, I'm going to give this one a B which is high um i'm teeter-tottering between a b and a c but i'm gonna stick with the b and the only reason i'm giving it a b is because it's unique and not in a negative way and i'm always i always try to reward root beers that are unique and still taste good because there's a lot of unique root beers that taste like crap so um you know your mileage may vary on what you think about this one, but me in particular, I think it's, um, I think it's pretty tasty and, uh, you know, I wouldn't say no to it if someone offered it to me. Um, you know, I, uh, there's just not a whole lot to say about this one. I mean, it was, uh, like I said, it was, uh, uh it surprised me a little bit. I really expected it to be pretty, pretty boring stuff. Um, and then, like I said, it kind of hit me with that, uh, almost like kind of like fruity sweet texture to it. So, um, yeah, B. So I know it's been a minute since basically I've done anything. I think I did a little, like maybe like, uh, a, I did part of a, a real grade Gundam not too long ago, but, uh, otherwise I haven't been doing a lot of recording lately and it's just because, um, I just, you know, just sometimes you just don't feel like it. You know, and also there's other things. Work was busy. The holidays just ended. Um, I don't remember when my last recording was even, so I can't even be like, oh, it was, it was the holidays because I know it wasn't just the holidays. I know it's been at least a couple of months, but anyway, hopefully I can get back into the rhythm of things. I'm not going to promise anything because I'm bad at those. So, um, but for now, uh, that's it for this one. So I hope you had a good time.